welcome to today's session so today we are looking at question 8 from the 2021 GCE mathematics paper 2 and question 8 leads the following diagram shows the graph of y is equal to a negative 1 over 5 x open bracket 12 minus x square close bracket lemma numeral 1 leads use the graph to solve the equations so what is the question asking us to do is to solve the equations using the graph so we have to solve this equation by using the graph not uh, the normal way of finding the answer then the first part which is a negative 1 over 5x open bracket 12 minus x square close bracket is equal to 1 so what you notice there is basically the left hand side is the original function y is equal to minus 1 over 5x then 12 minus x square close bracket that's the left hand side then the the right hand side we have a 1 so what it means is we have the second function y is equal to 1 so what we are being asked is to solve where these two functions y and the, the original y are equal that's what we are being required to solve for now if you notice here is the graph is a bit faint because it is scanned in the original version is much more clearer for you to see so let us look at the more clear version which has been constructed so what you notice here is we have this function so this function is the original y we are talking about this is the original y which is basically this function okay then for us to solve that we need we know this function already the graph so we need to graph the function y is equal to one y is equal to one so y is equal to one is a straight line what it implies is it doesn't matter the value of x y remains the same so what we do is to draw that line we need to one look at the units of this chart so the y-axis the y-axis jumping from zero to two so meaning at the middle here we have a one and here at the middle we have a one here we have a negative one here we have a positive one so why you pass through a positive one regardless of whether we are going to the right or left the value of y is not changing is a fixed number which is a one so to do that what we do is basically what we do is basically we get our ruler that we normally were required to go with in an exam so get our ruler and come and count up to basically uh five points so we have five units one two three four five so the five is at the middle there so the five is somewhere this is the middle five so you take your ruler there take your ruler there exactly put it at there and draw that straight line so once you do that you can draw a straight line so draw a straight line like this then once you draw a straight line then go to the chart and lead this point the point of intersection you see this the point of intersection these are the values of x you are required to to find so let us find for uh, part a so if you come here and lead here this is one two so it's basically two points to the left of negative three so and each point is a subunit is point zero one because they are jumping by one and there are 10 subunits there so you see 1 divided by 10 subunit is 0 0.1 so we have basically a negative 3 plus 0 0.2 so negative 3 minus 0 0.2 because we're going to the left so the first value of x the first value of x is equal to x is equal to minus 0 0.2 okay that's the first value of x then the second value of x is at this point where they are crossing so if you look at that point again we have 1 2 three four okay about four so four actually so it's minus because it's a negative minus point four then x3 at this point where it's crossing then we're going to read from here so we have uh, one two three four five six okay six so x is about a point a point uh actually not point three point six because we already moved three points so it's about a uh, 3.6 as the value of uh, 
the value of mm, x okay then that's the value of x then come to b b will do the same but it's one that b is negative 2 and negative 2 here is already given so it's you've seen these points so it's these points okay negative 2 is already known so again normally you would bring the ruler here do the same what we did with question e uh part a then draw that straight line ensure so that you draw that straight line properly then you need those points so what you discover there is if you look at b so b we have x so the first x so the first x here will be basically uh, will be here which is basically 1 2 which is uh, uh, 0 0.2 units before negative 4 so this should give us negative 3.80 then x the second value of x is uh, uh, somewhere here you've seen here just below a 1 just slightly before a 1 which is basically approximately 0 0.9 okay one unit so it is approximately one unit before a one then this one is see uh, basically again one unit before uh positive three so x should be equal to approximately 2.9 2.9 so basically this is how you solve party uh a loma numero one to get those four marks let us go to um number number two loma numero two calculate an estimate of the area bounded by the curve and the lines y is equal to a zero so let me just go to a more clear let me just clear this so that i have a clear version then area bounded by y is equal to zero so y is equal to zero is x axis okay because along the x axis the value of y remains zero then x is equal to negative three so if you come here look at x is equal to negative 3 you see this line x is equal to negative 3 and you see that then x is equal to negative 1 so we come up to here negative 1 so it's this area okay so all this area that we're interested in so if you notice here up to here somewhere this is approximately uh we have remember we have ones so this is then we have a one somewhere there so we have one two three four so we have four units then approximately this is you see this is one approximately this is one okay so this is one so we have uh one so it's a, a, approximately if you bring this this area here you bring it on top here so you get approximately about uh five it will be about five units so it will be about to be about five point maybe two to five units five and a quarter so this one could be basically one and a quarter or just about one but five point two five units so if you see here you can count these small boxes these small boxes are the one that uh uh speaking to that so it's uh, approximately five point two units okay that we we can estimate then being the gradient of the curve at which at the point uh three comma negative one point eight negative one point eight so what you do is we are estimating we're not giving the the, the 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 exact value so we are estimating so what you do again here you get your ruler okay so if you come to the cleaner one that i've let me clear the board so the cleaner one you get a ruler then you rotate this ruler in such a way that you can rotate it so you get your ruler then come at remember you see x is equal to three so it's at this point you see this point then you bring your ruler there and draw a tangent then find the slope of this tangent so you come and draw a tangent line there somewhere there so you draw a tangent line like that the line that should be just be tangent to this then find the slope of this line the slope of this line so if you if, if, if you check here the slope of this line will be we have one two three four so four four units so four units in x-axis which is 0 0.4 then how many is in y-axis so we have remember each unit in x-axis is equal to 0 0.2 so we have one two three four five six so 
6 times 2 which is about 0.1 so what you discover is the slope there approximately will be basically 1.2 divided by 0 0.4 which basically will give about 3 three units so it will be about three units so for every one unit change in x y would change by about uh, three units so that's how you approximate that one so let us look at uh, b so when you look at b let me just uh, look for space where there is space okay this one let me just uh, clear so that we have enough space so b find the equation of the curve for which dy dx equals to 2x minus 3 where x and is equal to y and is equal to 3 so we are trying to find the curve so basically what we know is this is the differentiated already dy dx change in y as a result of change in x is equal to 2x minus 3 then what we need to do is we need to find the original equation. So what we do is this is over 1. So we have dy. This dx multiplied by this one equal to close bracket, open bracket, 2x minus 3, then dx. Then we can integrate. To find y, we need to integrate with respect to. So integrate this side, we integrate this side. So we are getting y here. So when you start integrating here with respect to x, we have 2x to the power 2 over 2, the new power then here, 3 as in, is the same as 3 to the power, 3x to the power 0, which is 1. So 0, the power of x, we add the 1, so we have now 3x to the power 1 over 1, then plus a constant. Okay, so we get y is equal to basically x square minus 3x plus c. This is our indefinite integral. But we've been given the value of x and y. So having known the value of x and y, we can find c. So by substituting the value of y is a 3, 3 is equal to, then what's the value of x is 3, so 3 square, then minus 3 multiplied by 3, then plus c. Then we have 3 is equal to, 3 square is a 9, minus 3 times 3 is a 9, then plus c. So these give us a zero. So basically, three is equal to c. So c is equal to three. So meaning, we substitute in this equation, we end up with y is equal to. Let me just write down here. Y is equal to uh, x to square minus three x plus three. This is our answer only part t three for us to get that three marks so that we have the twelve out of twelve. So basically, this is how you handle question 8 in an exam to get the maximum 12 marks.